Ooh. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go. I feel like it's off a little bit. Let's go. Oh, there we go. I got it. All right, lock that in. Okay. Hello, welcome to my basement. As you can see, there's a little something going on behind me. There was stuff there, big old gap right here, and some stuff over here, right there. There we go, you can see it a little bit. Um, welcome to the basement of Perez Place, where new and exciting things are gonna be happening. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, everybody, because I'm coming at you fast, hard, and in a hurry. As you can see behind me, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on, but the main thing here is, let me grab this box right quick, is, <laughs> if you know what Carl's place is, you know what's about to happen. It's happening, it's happening. I'm getting a simulator. Getting a simulator in the basement. It's showing up in pieces. That's why everything's a mess down here. But, uh, you're probably gonna see a different. Um, you're probably gonna see different clothing in here because this is gonna be a multi-day process. Still waiting on, I believe, the screen and the launch monitor. Stay tuned for that because it is a doozy of a launch monitor. I will give you one hint: it is ceiling mounted. So, real compact space. Measurements of the room, right quick, from where the camera is to the wall. We're looking at about maybe that's 10 feet. We're looking at another 10 feet. We're looking at about 20 feet from where the camera is to the wall. Um, I got the hitting area, hitting mat set up. That was the first thing that Carl's Place sent out. Uh, oh, for the record, this video is not sponsored. I paid for all of this with my own money. Um, shout out to Carl's Place, though. If you guys want easy, fast, very helpful people out there. Um, for all of your golf simulator needs, hit them up. They got a DIY setup where you can take measurements of the room. They're gonna figure it out for you. They send you everything, cut, precision. As you can see in the uh, background right here to my left, uh, those that's, a, that's the uh, piping frame kit. So uh, back to it. Quick rundown on everything that I've gotten so far. The hitting mat, four by nine, uh, Carl's Place, Hot Shots Hitting Mat, I believe that's what it's called. Let me give you a quick little pan down. Ugh. So that is the hitting mat right there. Four foot, four foot deep, uh, four foot deep, nine feet long with a replaceable hitting, hitting strip right in the center, which is pretty sick. So that's there. Uh, as you can see, you saw all the 90s, all the, joiny, all the joinery going on in there. Um, so yeah, uh, it's gonna be a time-lapse video. Stick around, hang out with me, setting everything up. I'm gonna be going through the instructions, probably coming back to the camera here and then, uh, giving you a rundown play-by-play -play here. So everything that I've gotten so far today, uh, everything that I've gotten so far today, the flame and the frame enclosure. Um, so I got the frame enclosure. Um, maxed out, I think it, they called this a DIY C-Series golf enclosure, so that, I'm assuming that's just something for them. Uh, I got the um, Carl's Hot Shot Indoor Golf Tees, the Optima, where's my, it's probably in another box. I'll show you that in a second. They shipped out the uh, projector, I got a back cover as well. I'll give you guys a full on close up. I'm, I believe I'm still waiting on the hitting screen. So I'm still waiting on the hitting screen and the launch monitor itself. I'm gonna be bringing my PC down here, setting it up in a little nook and cranny that we got over here. Excuse me. Uh, you already know, <laughs> I got the Diet Pepsi on deck. So, gonna have refreshments, you're gonna see me struggling. There's a whole bunch going on down here. Stick around, enjoy the time lapse. Like, comment, subscribe, we love you. All right, quick pause on the video, quick pause on the music. I got the screen, let's go, I got everything. So far, I just need the launch monitor now. <laughs> Must have spent 35, 45,000 through the Tiffany's. Oh no, got a bad ass kiss when I run my whole crib. Like a Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not 
like a, I'm like a kid in a candy store, y'all. <laughs> Off to my aisle, oh, goddammit. <laughs> Alright, I gotta pause Bruno Mars right quick. God damn, why is it not pausing? Unless you can miss. Stay paused. Alright. Now I got that taken care of. I went with the Optima GT 2000 HDR DPL DLP projector. So that's gonna go up there. It's gonna be I got I got the whole thing set up. I got I got lights, I got a spotlight. I mean, when this is done, I hope y'all like it just as much as I do because there's a lot of content coming up. Uh, I might start doing some random stuff, maybe like holding one challenges with the boys. Uh, definitely going to be doing an indoor golf series for sure, especially because it's snowing outside. It's really bad out there. So stick around, everybody. All right, let's get some Bruno Mars back up. All right, quick pause and update. This is why you read instructions. Um, nothing too bad, so just gotta take out one of the pipes off of both ends here. Move it one section forward. Read the instructions, kids. My dad always used to say, read the goddamn instructions or you're gonna be doing it twice. So, read the instructions, do it right the first time. You want to talk about precision. Let me show you all this real quick. Ugh, climb up here. Yo, big shout out to Carl's Golf. Look at this, man. I mean, ignore, ignore how loose it is, but look at this. Look at that. That is, oh, shit, I'm not even showing you. That is absolute precision there. I was sitting here tripping out. I was like, how's this going to go in here? How's this going to go in there? Is it going to overlap? Is it going to hit? Nope. Look at that. Ooh, I'm out of breath. I think it's a combination of excitement and uh, everything else. But big shout out calls about holy cow. Woo! Come on! Yo, if you're liking this, if you're enjoying it, check out Carl's Golf, like, comment, subscribe, smash that subscribe button. On the road to 1,000 subscribers for the year of 2024. Can we get up to 10K? Can we get up to 50? Maybe 100? Who knows? Only you guys can determine that. So if you enjoy, hit that subscribe button, huh? Back to it, ain't nothing to it but to do it. I got the frame set up, <clears throat> excuse me. Ah, it's dusty down here. A little, little bit of diapexy, a little bit of diapexy. <sighs> My wife will tell me I drink too much soda. It's beside the point. <clears throat> Back to it, frame is set up. So dimensions, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, I'll figure out in the back loop, if not, you'll never even see this part. Dimensions of the actual simulator. 12 feet wide, seven and a half feet tall. For reference, I am 5'6", I am a stout old man. So, can you see me? I think you can see me. So I can't even touch the top. I mean, like, there's like a good two feet above me here. If I jump, yeah. I can barely touch the top pole. So that's where we're at. Seven and a half feet tall on the frame. Um, I got, I think I got, I, it actually might be even 
eight feet tall in the frame. I got 90 inches of, of actual screen. So that'll be coming up next. Um, you probably saw me struggling there for a bit. Uh, very limited on the space height wise. So I didn't want to do like the base and then the top part and then try and lift the whole thing by myself. So I was just kind of puzzle piecing it together as you can see. So uh, that's where we're at. Frame's done. I'm gonna go grab me a socket and a, and a, and a, uh, a ratchet so I can tighten everything down. Then I can move the whole thing to where I want it to be. Uh, I'm, I think when I measured it, I had about a foot on each side. So yeah, cause I got 14 feet total from edge, from wall to wall. 14 feet total, leaves me a foot on each side. Uh, gives me enough room to be able to put everything around it on top, so on and so forth. The top is definitely gonna be a struggle. I got like three inches of space to work with up there, so. Um, I digress, we continue. On to tightening everything. Alrighty, I'm back from the garage. Got my ratchet, socket, 13 millimeter. Throw all of the bolts in there. Let's get in there, tighten them down. Let's get my jams back on. You guys are not gonna hear any of it, so. Real quick, you guys, ah. Real quick, you guys might hear <clears throat> a little bit of this, but this song right here, Claudenstina, hard. Love it. I don't know, I don't think it goes that hard, but I just, I love the bass. <laughs> Uh, all right, everything's buttoned down, everything's tightened up. We gotta move it and make sure it's where I want it to be. Then we're gonna put on the, uh, we're gonna put on the screen, I think. I think that's the next step. I'm gonna take a look at the instructions. Read the instructions, kids. Uh, okay, took a little break. Ugh, went and got me some lunch, a little chicken sandwich. Uh, we're back here in the dungeon, in the basement, finishing this up. I'm finishing it today. You will see a practice swing into the screen. Let's get to it. Okay, update. Um, first front half of the cover's on. Currently looking for the instructions for the back cover because this little booklet says that if you ordered a back cover, I'll read it word for word for you. Um, install back cover. If you if ordered, you'll receive further instructions on on incorporating your back enclosure cover into your enclosure assembly. Far I still can't find the uh, back cover enclosure stuff, so I might have to might have to wing it. But. Uh, so far so good, everything looks fine. Um, we're gonna attempt to put the back cover on with no instructions. I did bring down the foam covers though, or the foam inserts. Ladies and gentlemen, these go like in the corners to avoid any kind of ricochet back. Oh, when they said premium, they meant premium, baby. Woo, look at this thing. All right, now the attempt to do it by myself without getting the screen dirty. Oh my god! <laughs> I told you! I was gonna watch 
that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, anxiety! Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm bring my blood sugar. Even good. Don't step on my screen now. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Everybody say hi to the wife. <laughs> Drop a like. Tell her how hot she is in the comments. You know what, matter, matter of fact, don't, because I'm going to fight you. Uh, but yeah, anyways, wife just got home. For those who don't know, I've been working on this since 3 p.m. It's currently 5.30. <laughs> so, this is definitely a two-man job, minimum. I mean, one man if you like me and you like to stress out. But we continue! Wow, this is fucking massive, huh? You need help? Uh, I, we need another ladder is the issue, so, oh work. you can pause the video by the way, you guys will catch up in a second, I don't want you guys hearing my conversations, it's okay, okay, alright, here we are, on the final stages, just gotta put those, uh, little bad boys on, them grommets, or bungees, not grommets, the grommets are the things that it goes into, idiot, ah, okay, quick rundown, so here's some close-ups, right? So this is the first cover that confused the hell out of me, right? Velcro came around here, um, grommet side on the back, got the bungees in all the way around. Huh? What? No, I'm, I'm, I got it. I'm just, I'm just doing for pan, you know. All right, and then uh, so as you can see, bungees go all the way around the grommeted area on the top there. As I zoom in, and then the top of the screen itself has zip ties, which you tighten and shout out to Carl's Place because they send you the zip ties that you can tighten and loosen. So as you can see, we got a little bit of a, like a like an overlapping thing going on. So I think I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Uh, if it starts to bug me later, based off of what the projector looks like, I'll change it. Uh, here's the other side. Uh, um, what I mean by change is I'll tighten up those those zip ties to lift lift the screen up. So, I and mean, then here's some more bungees. Here's the framework, kind of close up. I know I didn't really do that. Really good quality stuff here. Uh, bolts on there, tightens down very nicely. Here's the front part of it. And as you can see, my exposed ceiling, window, me. Now this, this is what I really wanted to show you guys. Do you see? Oh, you probably won't even be able to see the little bastard. Oh, you can't. Uh, all right, those little plugs that I showed you earlier. So you gotta hand tighten those for the cable on the bottom to uh, squeeze in. And it is tough, I'm talking like a foot, maybe less than a foot of space here. So, but luckily I didn't put a sheetrock on the back part there, as you can see behind the screen. Uh, so I was able to access it back there pretty easily. So we continue. We're gonna put the bungees on. I think that's the last step. I might take a practice shot or I might actually try and put that thing on first. And then I'll take a practice shot. But shout out to the wife out here. Look at her. She's wonderful. If you're not married yet, go get married. They cook for you. They clean for you. They have sex with you. Uh, that's the best part. I'm talking about the cooking, not the sex. <laughs> I digress. We're gonna put the bungees on. Stick around. Hope you're enjoying it. This ugly fat face is all up in the camera. We love you. Like, comment, subscribe. We appreciate you. On the road to a million. On the road to 10,000. I don't know. Something with a lot of zeros behind it with a one in front of it. Ugh. Everybody's this is Pumba. He's half deaf, three quarters blind, we got cataracts, and we love him. <laughs> he's about 80 pounds. Ugh, big old fatty patatties. And he's on his way out the door, but we still love him and we still take care of him around this place. I love you, buddy.
Kizzy, come down here. You're not disabled. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ignore the hair. Ignore. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Hey, go ahead and put this away. Hold up. Hold up. Alright. Alright. I got the hoodie on because my hair's a mess. Oh my god. Oh my god. People of YouTube, Perez Place subscribers, Perez Place posse, there's been new developments. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Camera in the frame. Oh, you will not guess what is here. Oh, 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 thank the Lord, sweet Jesus. Oh, the final, the final products to this, to this beautiful golf sim room. Oh, it's a lot heavier than I expected, but I also remembered that I forgot to show you. This, this is the projector. We went with the Optima. Oh, hold up. Let me show you to the creme uh, de la creme. I can't move the camera, it's currently charging. I forgot to plug it in. But, like I mentioned before, I paid for this with my own money. This is not sponsored. Uh, it is a few days after the golf enclosure has been set up. I've already been hitting a few balls. It is amazing. Oh, I gotta catch my breath. Uh, right here, thank you for choosing Pro T United. That's it, that's right. That's what we got here in the basement. The Pro TVX launch monitor, ceiling mounted. Um, I need five, nine foot minimum. As you can see, I got uh, open joists. I wanted to make sure the camera was good. Got my forehead is massive. Anyways, uh, I got open joists, so I'm gonna recess it into the joists just a little bit to get that uh, full nine foot. At Pro T United, this is a cute, cool little, uh, cool little thing they sent me, right? At Pro T United, we take pride in delivering the best possible golfing experience to our customers, and we are grateful for the opportunity to have served you with our brand new Pro T VX launch monitor. As a company that has been in the golf industry for over 20 years, we know what it takes to provide top-notch products and services to our customer. That is why we want to let you know that before we send out any of our golf simulators, we hand test each system to ensure that meets that it meets our strict quality standards. This is just one of the ways we ensure that you receive a high quality and functioning, functional product that you can enjoy for, for years to come. We appreciate your trust in our products for our, in our products for, our, for your golf simulator needs. Pro T United are committed to ensuring that you have the best possible experience with, our, with your new purchase and we stand behind our products. If you ever have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to reach out to us our team of experts is always ready to assist. Signed, Dennis Van Dry, Dri, Dri. I'm gonna say Dri. President, CEO of Pro T United. They even got a quality assurance on this bad boy. Look at this uh, reflection right there. Look at that. Assembled by AA Testing Signature. Oh my goodness! Let's get this out of the box. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh my goodness, let's go ahead and get this out the box. Oh my god. Oh, look at this. Look at this bad boy right here. Oh shit. Something wiggled. Oh, it's just, okay, it's just the mounting plate. It's just the mounting plate. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. Oh. Oh, holy cow. Oh. Retail price, 6,900 uh, bucks, just in case you're wondering. It's got two high-speed cameras, one on each side. Oh, I gotta get the other one in the frame. Oh, I keep hitting it on the ladder. Two, uh, it weighs 30 pounds, by the way. Two high-speed cameras, so it gets you all of the information necessary and needed. Oh my god, this thing is so gorgeous already. I haven't even taken off the cover yet. Ooh! All right, let's get to installing it, huh? Oh my goodness, this is so sick. Ugh. Update! 
I had to build a, um, a base, a support, something to hold the launch monitor. You, you get the point. So um, I'm putting the final two screws in right now. I'll show it to you in a second. Okay, let me get this done. Okay, jig. I'm gonna call it a jig. I don't think it's a jig, but it's done. This is what we came up with, right? So, like I, I think I've shown you before, but so as you can see above me, right, right in here. So those are my joists, and the way that I built the uh, this jig thing, right? As you can see, right, I'm gonna angle you up that way towards the joist, okay? So, the way that it is, is uh, the joist has like some, it's got like half of an inch of a lip there, right? So I got some two by fours and I supported it up with another, I think it was like a half inch here, right? So this is gonna sit on top of that joist there, boom, right there, right? Okay, and then the launch monitor base, I'm gonna, I'm gonna screw it into this part of the, this part here. This is gonna sit in between like that, right? So I gotta finagle it, get it in there, right? Okay, then this is the base for the launch monitor, okay? It's got a bunch of screw holes that you could pick and choose from as you can see, right? So the base is gonna go in the ceiling like this, and then if, I'm dex if I have enough dexterity, then the mount is gonna go in like this, right? And with how tall, I guess you would say, how tall the launch monitor actually is, the cameras sit directly underneath this, pointing directly to our, our future hitting uh, area. So hopefully I got the measurements right. That's a little update for you guys. That's what I've been doing over the last couple of hours. Um, had to run to Home Depot, get all the material. Uh, I'm gonna test fit it right now in the ceiling. Let me bring it back down. I'm gonna test fit it right now in the ceiling. Uh, figure out the measurements. So you gotta mount it three feet, four inches. So 40 inches from your hitting area. And then from the videos that I've seen online, it's got a two foot by two foot window, I guess you would say. Like, so it's a pretty generous like hitting area, but that's what we're working on now. Stick around, excuse me. I'm gonna point you this way so we can test it out and see how it goes. So there's the jig. Okay, camera died. Hopefully, hopefully the previous clip picked it up. I gotta charge this damn thing. Okay, so I got the little rig up there set up. Um, I'm gonna measure 40 inches from the hitting mat. 40 inches from the center of the hitting mat here, right? So 40 inches from the center of the hitting mat there. It's got a two foot, two foot long, two foot wide square. From the hitting act, from the actual hitting area that you can, uh, it's kind of like a window, I guess you would call it. So we're gonna measure. 
about five, six times because I, I, can, I only have this one chance to get it right or else I gotta pull the whole thing back down. So, I'm gonna measure, nail in the, the, the brace. That's what it is, a brace, brace? No, I don't know. You get the point, I'm rambling. So we're gonna mount, we're gonna nail it in to uh, the joist, make sure that doesn't move. Screw in the base plate. Uh, hopefully Gladys gets home soon so she can uh, help me hang the actual thing. And then the next step will be to move the PC and mount the projector. So, yeah. Ugh. All right, the hair's out. I'm tired, but we got it. <laughs> All right. So as you can see, the little arrow. Let me get the white, the green. Yeah, green looks cool. You look. So got the little arrow here. So this is going to point towards the screen. Right, so there, it's gonna go like this. Launch monitor is going to clip in here, sit towards the front of it, gonna put it in between the joists. Uh, don't know if I already mentioned this, put it in between the wrong joist, pulled it out, mocked it up, put it in the right joist, in between the right joists that I wanted. Found out that the cables, if I butt it up towards the back, the cables aren't gonna be able to sit through, so. Moved it forward one joist, mounted it towards the front, have enough room for the cables, even got a little kind of a lip here so it can go over. So through here, over, and then I got a plug up in the ceiling for the power. And it's gonna run this way towards a little nook that I got for the computer and TV setup. And then, unfortunately, the projector mount didn't show up today, so I gotta wait for that tomorrow, but at least I can get this up connect it tomorrow, download the software, get everything set, ready to go, and then the projector will be, the projector mount will be in tomorrow. And then I gotta finagle with that. And we should be set and ready to go. So stick around, keep watching if you're still enjoying. Thank you for sticking around for the DIY. Carl's Place Golf Simulator, shout out, uh, Pro TVX. <coughs> Success. Uh. I don't know why Pro TVX recommends you uh, two people minimum to load it up because that thing was tough. But it's up. Excuse my face. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that bad boy. Could not have set it any more flush into the into the joist. Oh man, this is so beautiful. Pro TVX launch monitor. Up and mounted. That's it for today. Uh, next part you'll see is me bringing the PC down here, downloading the software, downloading GS Pro, maybe even getting lucky enough, and even if we don't have a projector, play in a hole. So stick around, love you, like, subscribe, peace. Hello, welcome back. Ignore the hair. It's all over the place. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's almost about that time. So still waiting on the um, uh, projector mount. So I got a pretty cool one. It's like got two options where like you can hang it straight up and down or you can point it, like put it on the joist. So for example, I'm gonna be putting it, I'm putting it about right there, right? Like right here, roughly is where it's gonna go. And I'm gonna put it along that joist have it come out 90 and then just hang just below the joist so so that's a pretty cool part about that um, but that's not the most exciting part here we are I don't know if you can hear I don't know if the mic's gonna pick it up but where is it oh look at that <laughs> so launch monitor is up it's on uh, I moved my PC setup downstairs, so this is a PC I got. Uh, minimum requirements for it, it's a uh, Cyber Power from, from Best Buy, it's got a 3060 Ti, it's got a NVIDIA 3060 Ti graphics card, uh, 2 terabyte SSD, um, uh, 16 gig of RAM, all those, you know, all that good stuff. If you know computers, you know computers, I had to look it up to make sure that I was getting everything right. We're here on the uh, computer, currently waiting for the latest update. Let me see if I can get that in there, sorry. I'm not used to doing handheld. 
but here we are getting the latest update. Here we are getting the latest update. Oh, it looks like it's up. It looks like it's up and running. Here we go, installing for update or looking for updates. Boom, we are up. Click the settings icon. So now we are going to set up the calibration. We are going through the calibration process. Mm, click the settings icon at the top right to set up and configure Pro Labs, Pro T Labs. Come on. So here's the trusty dusty calibration board they send you. Um, it's pretty sturdy. I mean, I thought it was a piece of cardboard, but pretty sick. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, so, <laughs> all right, computer just told me, system just told me it's ready, so, Botas, come here, no, Botas, all right, I'm going to take my cat upstairs because I don't want her to run in front of the screen, okay, here's what we're looking at, y'all, <laughs> Dynamic lock 38.4 degrees, launch angle 20, attack angle 10 degrees, absolutely terrible, backspin 6100, caught it just a little off the toe there, uh, impact top view here, a little bit of side spin, negative 20 RPM side spin, so I think that's 2000, here is the top view of the range. Here's the side view of the range. And look at this. Oh my god, can I make this bigger? How do I make this bigger? Do I just click on it? I gotta figure it out. Oh, it disconnected. Why did it disconnect? Okay, I gotta figure that out. All right, so just got a disconnected thing right there, so I gotta figure that out. But look at this. And then here's all the numbers. 78.4 club speed. 149 total distance 100, 100 mile an hour ball speed 5 degree closed face angle Club to path Or face to path 137 carry 74 foot apex Oh my god guys, thank you so much So many so many things happening here The next video you see will be with the, with the projector mounted I love and appreciate y'all so much. Wouldn't be here without y'all. Go check out Pro T, uh, Pro T Labs online. Uh, Pro T VX launch monitor. Give Carl's place a shout. Okay, loving the product already. I've already been taking swings on it. All that good stuff. This, that, and the other. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Stick around. Find out. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Our baby looking thing. He's going at so it. Good. He's going at it. Whoa. 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 How are we feeling after that shot? That, was, that wasn't too bad. Uh, that's out to the P7 TWs, baby. Neil Drummond.